and it goes into the oven. There it is. Now you can see it going around in there. See, now we're at sort of red minus 31 here, and already there's some action going on in there. I'm looking at it now and wondering maybe I should have cut it a little more deeply. It's easy to cut too shallowly. The cut is important. This is not just some remnant of the ancient European tradition of, of cutting a cross on your bread because bread was a holy thing and, and the staff of life. Um, it helps the soda bread to flower out, to rise up correctly and split apart when you cut it this way. Um, so we'll give it a couple more minutes and come back to it. So now we're at sort of bread minus 25 and again it continues to rise. It's splitting nicely down the place where it's been cut. It's going to be a while before it starts to get brown yet though. So here we are at sort of bread minus 17 and it's rising nicely. Don't be panic stricken if your bread does not go up like a rocket. Ideally this bread comes up at, at a little more leisurely speed than some yeast based breads might do. Um, do not increase the heat to try to make it rise faster because routinely that toughens the crust and leaves you with yet another hockey puck. So here we are at about bread minus 11 and a half and it's coming up nicely still. Look at the way the edges are, are though. They're not as deeply cut as they might have been. I think maybe I could have cut that one a little more deeply. But every time's an adventure. Okay, here we are at bread minus 8 and it's beginning to take some color now. Uh, you don't want your soda bread to get too dark brown. Uh, when you see it in the bakeries here, you tend to get sort of a light mocha color, sort of cafe au lait color. It'll be more obvious when we make the farl and you don't actually have the um, little grainy window of the fan oven between you and what you're seeing here. So we're about bread minus four here. It continues to take on a bit of color. Something else that should be mentioned just in passing, if your bread doesn't rise the way you like it, really don't be tempted to put in extra bread soda, extra bicarbonate soda. It's not going to help it rise any faster and you're going to wind up with something which has a horrible metallic taste that is going to put you right off it. Most of the time if the bread has troubles rising, it's because the mixture was too dry and there wasn't enough liquid incorporated to let it balloon out properly. I'm saying it was done. So let's see if it means it or not. It's a little bit light, I think. So I would be tempted to give it about another, oh, five minutes, and we'll see what it does. So there it is, and it smells great. Falls down. So there it is. Not too bad. That sort of wiggly outside coating, outside crust is perfectly normal for these. That's a nice loaf. Okay, you let these put it on a rack and let it cool for about, oh, 15, 20 minutes before you let it.